Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Well, happy Monday. We have another episode for you. I think this is three Mondays in a row, so we praise the Lord for that. Uh, today, we're going to continue to look at Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 13, and this beautiful passage that shows us what it's like to live in light of the gospel, what it's like to live as a healthy, united church in light of the gospel. I'm going to begin by reading the whole passage for us again, so follow along with me as I read Romans chapter 12, verses 9 through 13. Let love be without hypocrisy. Abhor what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Give preference to one another in honor. Not lagging behind in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, rejoicing in hope, persevering in tribulation, devoted to prayer, contributing to the needs of the saints, practicing hospitality. As I mentioned last time, this is a rich, rich passage with truth that paints for us a picture of a healthy, unified, gospel-transformed church. The local church is a congregation of people who have been transformed by the gospel. And we must be careful to remember as we study this passage, as we study these exhortations in the latter half of Romans, not to separate from the fact that Paul is writing to a church. All the epistles are written to churches to instruct them how to live both individually and as a church, as a local congregation. So as we look at this passage and continue through it today, I want you to think on what it is like to live as someone who has been transformed by the gospel. And how can you do that in the context of our local church? Now, yesterday we looked at verse 9. We looked at what it means to love without hypocrisy, abhor what is evil, and cling to what is good. Today, we're going to focus our attention on the next two exhortations that are given in verse 10. Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Give preference to one another in honor. We must be, as a church, devoted to one another. That means we must make one another a priority. We must make loving one another a priority. Now, we have a whole... Uh, video on this in our One Another series because this is one of the first ones we looked at. So you can go look at that on our YouTube channel if you want. But just today, I want you to think about the priority that this sets. We as a church must make a priority of loving one another. We must be devoted to that task. It's not something that we tag on, something that's part of what we do, but we must be devoted to the task of loving one another. Of course, our love set, or our Lord said that people will know us by our love for one another. They will know that we are his disciples by our love for one another. So Grace Community, let's be devoted to that type of love. And part of that is kind of the second phrase that he gives in this passage, that we are to give preference to one another in honor. Give preference to one another in honor. We must prefer one another. This is the complete opposite of selfishness. Rather than selfishly looking at how we can be served and how others can serve us, we must follow the example of our Lord who did not come to be served but to serve. We must follow his example in serving one another and in giving preference to one another to honoring one another not looking to take the the great seat for ourselves, not looking to make sure we're the first to be served, but trying to prefer one another and honor one another. Doesn't that sound like a healthy church? A healthy church that loves and prefers one another? Grace community, let us be that kind of church. I pray this is an encouragement to you today, and I pray that you'll spend the day meditating on this truth and thinking on how you can contribute to making our church a church that is known for loving and preferring one another. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.